previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh my god, Daddy, is that you? Is that oh, it's just some random NPC that has a similar haircut. Damn it, I thought you were the ghost of Daddy. Lord Rodriguez, show up about Lord Rodriguez. What about Daddy? Stop fake Daddy. Oh, why wouldn't I go? Yes, yes good, good son. son. Good. good. Kill, Kill all the all fake versions of me until there is only one. one. Me. Ghost, ghost me. me. Who's, who's behind you? Him. I will, Daddy. I will follow all your absolutely insane desires. Now, now onwards, onwards, class. class. To, to war! <laughs> Feel the crack of my whip, you foolishly foolish fools. Ah, prosecutor, my car might hit me instead. That's who I was aiming for, a foolish detective. Hello! Sneaker B, back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, got a little game boy! <laughs> Freaking Sylvain and Felix. Oh my god. Yeah, that was uh that was uh that was some hot shit right there. <laughs> god damn. Yeah, apparently that according to you guys, Sylvain and Felix is like one of the most common like gay uh guy ships uh in the game, and uh I definitely see why. That was man, they laid on thick. Thick <laughs> and uh it was cute. It was like, oh they love each other. I uh apparently it was actually you guys said it was actually even more like like the suggestions was even were even stronger in the Japanese version where like Sylvain didn't say like oh you know we're just friends or whatever and like Felix was like we're gonna die together or something like that I don't know it was it's like mm. it was it was really it was very sweet um unfortunately though for, I think just for me personally well I, I I you guys even said apparently that the ending they get together is pretty fantastic um I just I, I really like Sylvain and Ingrid because I feel like you know Ingrid makes him a better human being, even though I'm sure Felix would probably do the same. They kind of, well, they kind of bounce off each other. Like, serious bro dudes also like the fuck, <laughs> you know? Um, and also Felix and Annette, just like, oh, that just was so cute. It was like God level, you know? God tier. Uh, and it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could take that shit away, all right? That's just too good. I mean, then again, I don't know. It's always a possibility that uh, I won't be able to get to that point. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Where, where's everybody at anyway? So, like, Felix, where are you in uh, your relationships? Uh. Oh my god. It, oh my god. Look at this fucking top three. Sylvain could sneak up there. Annette is there. Annette is there, but Sylvain could fucking come, by, come up from behind, right? Just fucking slit Annette's throat and just get her out of the way. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's getting tense. I don't know if, it, if Sylvain and Felix have a few like bonding moments in a battle. Who knows, it's anybody's game now. Oh my God, this is, <laughs> wow, look at this. And then for Sylvain, it's fucking Ingrid and Felix. Wow, this really could be anybody's game, you know? They, they could just sneak up from behind and fucking do this shit, couldn't they? It's not impossible. It is not impossible. <laughs> the battle of the Wafus and the Husbandos. Who will win? But yes, on that same regard, uh, last episode, uh, Paula Figueres Claire said, Felix is only two types, small, cute, but strong girls, and Sylvain. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, let's see, how many supports have we done for Felix now? We've done almost all of them. So yeah, I mean, with all the other guys, which, uh, yeah, like to do, Ash. Now, I was not gay. Sylvain was really the only gay one that seemed to uh, to happen with Felix here. But goddamn, man. I mean, it's pretty good. You know, I, I think that's a legit one. People who were like, who would pick that ending. I get it, man. Like that was, it was cute. It was fucking cute. So anyway, my, my two types are very similar. Also small, cute, but strong girls. But instead of Sylvain, I picked Dimitri. <laughs> that's, that's my two types. Damn it. Anyway, Paula, thank you so much for your hilarious insight. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. Oh, by the way, you guys also explained the reason why Shamir was upset. Um, it's kind of what I was thinking. It was that from a strategic standpoint, like, like they just dealt a mighty blow against the Empire, right? But now we're just suddenly like backing off like, oh, well, we're going to go to help the kingdom. It's like giving them a time to regroup and strengthen themselves again. So... From a strategic standpoint, it probably doesn't make as much sense to do that. So I, I see. Okay, I, I do kind of wish he'd elaborate a bit, just because you know it made her sound sort of heartless. But I guess the point was, you're just sort of supposed to infer that, right? Based on what you already know about Shamir as being the pragmatic uh, str uh, strategist and someone who does 
dabbled in quite a few battles, right? That's kind of what I thought. I didn't think she was really trying to come across or be heartless. Because, I mean, she might, in the end, she might be right. I mean, we could literally end this war, like, immediately if we destroy the Empire first. At least in theory. But all right. So we've got a couple of weeks left until we get to uh, another day. I take back Ferdy ad. I suppose I could do another auxiliary battle, but I don't know if I'm going to. I mean, we're so fucking over leveled by this point. I mean, what is the required level for this fight anyway? 35. And everyone on average is like level freaking 38. I mean, I do want to see the rest of the support. That'd be the main reason really to do this. It's just to farm for more uh, support stuff. But... Yeah, definitely got to do that with Dimitri here. But we still have a lot more Ox early battles and other things too, so... Um, I don't know if I want to really do that today, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> Again, it's like, it comes down to like, that means I'm going to have to... I mean, it's just going to be more hours spent, honestly. I was, if, I, if I do auxiliary battles and farm for stuff, it's going to be at least like an hour and a half to two hours of, of me doing that, you know? Um, cause I'm gonna be trying, I mean, it just, it just takes time. You're put, you're taking the time to find the characters that need to bond with each other. Make sure they stand next to each other and do the exact same thing. You can just, I mean, otherwise, if, yeah, you just blaze through the fucking auxiliary battles if you're not even focusing on supports. Especially now with my characters being so damn strong. I will say, though, even though I am seemingly overleveled, I will say the last few story fights have been, like, like, I feel like I can't dick around too much. Like, that Grander Field one, like, that was the reason why I didn't try to go around and fight them all as myself. Because, like, they could do a lot of damn damage. Like, they could have killed me without too much trouble if I wasn't careful. So maybe I'm not really that overleveled after all. It just looks, it just seems to be the case. Yeah, and I wanna say next week is gonna be the morale meal. So that's when I'll explore, do that, do that one. Um, all right, well, maybe I'll just do some, uh, some more seminars. Bus Rhyme Mercedes up to an S rank too. I actually wonder if the higher the rank they are, do they actually give more XP to people below them, maybe? Where is uh, Sylvain on his stuff? So he's, He's got much higher reason now. He could still go, I think, go up a bit more with uh, with Faith. He actually got Physic, which was really good. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna make try to make Sylvain like a spellcaster knight of the group. Yeah, I think this works. Let's just uh, let's just go with that again. We're pretty well before. La 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 la. Oh, you meant Wellis here. This. Oh, she actually came this time. There we go. She didn't come last time. Oh. I think I've got the idea. Okay. Age is but a number. Age is but a number. Hey, cool. I'm finally learning a healing spell. And let's see. It was, it was Manuela that doesn't like reason, though, right? It's, but she actually came to this one. Interesting. Who came that? Who came before that? Didn't come this time. I wonder. Can't remember. It does seem like it's a limit. It's a limited amount, though, right? Like a limited number of people. Or like you can only at most get six people. Like as as many portraits as can fit in that little box down there, um, and then one person will get left behind, even if they can te technically join the class. But again, what what determined that? What determined that Manuela came this time and not whoever the other person was? Was it? It was Annette, wasn't it? Maybe because Annette doesn't have anything to learn from Mercedes because she's also pretty high and stuff. But I think her reason is no, no, her faith. Her faith is lower than Mercedes, though. I don't know. Maybe it's just a coin flip for those like on teetering on the edge. Um, but yeah, Manuela is the one who isn't actually great at reason. It doesn't like reason. But Hanuman actually is okay at faith. I just haven't really taken the time. All right, yes, motivation. Now motivated. All right. Okay, did you two get your final one yet? Uh, yeah, they did. That's right. Um, okay. I still think I probably should do Dimitri and somebody else, so. Um, yeah, we'll go with, uh, go with Catherine. Just because they're... They only need one more half to their uh, A rank there. Okay, Felix is almost up to his a an S rank on those fists, so. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep Let's keep <laughs> this is going to be useful, maybe. You have any some dare everywhere you go, Felix? Jesus. Even in class, that. Uh, oh, maybe. I don't, maybe I like with it learning about punching people out of there. Oh, will you put a sock in it, Felix? Not fooling anybody. Okay, uh, Casper, you were just up, just Nailed. about there. Nailed it. Good boy. Oh. Here, have a cookie. Booyah, bitch. Let's put let's put this to rest. Didn't mean to do that. Uh okay. And I guess we'll just keep going with the fist too. Punching and axing and axing and punching. Oh, Bernie, you were super duper close on that S rank for that bow. I got, I got it! <laughs> Holy fuck! It'd be funny if just Bernie just said that suddenly, just like just dropped the F bomb like, what the fuck? <laughs> I 
Oh my god! So there's a few characters I haven't used in a while, mainly because, like I said, I've been kind of using the battles not to level up, but just to get supports. And Cyril's already done, as is like Hanuman. All right, Raphael, I'll also get you to an A on your axes. Oh, come on. I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and just teach you some more faith then. Nope. Uh, get, you some, get you some additional healing stuff. Hey, that's no too. Nice. I, st I still have much to learn. Yeah, I actually did manage to get Gilbert to Great Knight. Um, so what should I focus on with him now? Should I keep going with horses? Is there a point? I feel like the horse is like, you, you get like maybe two abilities in grand total with the horses, but otherwise it's mainly just used to get you like a class. So I don't know. I mean, like I ended up getting plus one movement for with Sylvain once I got him high enough with horses, I think, which was good. But, I, and I don't know if that's what everybody else gets, but is it worth really working that hard for? I, I don't know. As opposed to like some of the weapon shit or get them better at authority so they can get a, they can use better, uh, uh, battalions? Eh, just keep going. Get him to B at least. Damn, nice job there, Gilbert. Fuck. Uh, oh, Alois, you were almost there with the fist fisties. Boom. Mighty blow. All right, keep working on axes. And that's all I got. All right, training begin. Yet again. Oh, fuck, what's happening? Oh, that's right, it's Raphael's birthday. Uh, sure, man. Uh, I'm already, we're already totally bonded, so, you know, I'm not even gonna bother with looking up your thing. Uh, maybe you like, or is there any way you can even tell, like, from looking at these names that, like, they would like this? I think some of them give me an indication, like, Joan requires a mature palate, so someone like Lorenz or something, maybe, but anyone with a sweet tooth? This can't be beat, so okay. See, they do a little bit. Annette would probably like this then, or Mercedes. Mint Lees refreshes all that for who partake it. It's enjoyed uh, by a Kingdom and Alliance, so maybe they like this? Thanks. Nope. <laughs> I don't like tea. <laughs> mm, tasty. Where's the meat, Professor? And then he just runs away. Huh? Um, strange fish in the pond, our first meeting, food in the dining hall. <laughs> Me like food so much. I know, Raphael, I know. Uh -huh. Uh, the last battle, your ambitions, the ideal relationship. Uh, the last battle. I also like punching things. Uh, -huh. uh mighty weapons, courtyard couple, plans for the future. Uh, mighty weapons. Uh, no, sure. what? Really? Fine, we just had a nice tea time. Thanks for the tea. But next time, let's stick to meat. You like battles, but you don't like weapons? What the fuck, Raphael? I don't need weapons when I help my fist. That's the point. I don't know. Whatever. Today is St. McCool Day. This will be him in their saddle. Of course we will. Now, I'm guessing he can't potentially pair you up with, like, two people that are already maxed out or something, right? At least I would hope not. Ah, or don't have a connection. Good to sing nice and loud. Fill my chest up with sound. Oh, shit. No, it looks like it can. I guess, it, I guess it's totally random, then. Fuck, that sucks. You got paired up with Marianne. They don't have. They don't even have supports together. I can't sing very loud. <laughs> I don't like singing. Yeah, bummer. Oh well, I'm not redoing because I don't have to redo the classes. You see, I'm done. I'm actually done with Marianne too, which is kind of one of the reasons why I haven't used her in a battle this. either. Easy. Let's give it our. Let's give it our all. We're <laughs> eventually going to clean up this rubble. Good results. More like perfect results. All right. We. This is making sense. Ah, reason. Now to apply this knowledge. And that's it. We lingered almost up to that freaking S rank. Got any supports? Uh, nope. All right. Let's explore and go have some morale me meals, eats, something. Okay, now see if I understood this correctly. Is this something that like everybody likes, right? That one is. Yup. Oh, yeah. This is the best one. This is basically the best one. Everybody's happy with everything. Why couldn't every day be like this, huh? Why can't y'all just be happy with the food we have? You fucking entitled assholes. All right, cool. We're definitely getting some freaking uh, level ups here then. All right, let's do uh, Felix and Mercedes. This is, I think this will actually finish Felix off. It's the final one that he has. Yes, sirree. All right. 
Last one for Felix. Let's see it. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. And then he walks away. And on a bit of a low note for you, Felix. Do you need something? Let's hear it. Oh, no. I don't need anything. I was just hoping to talk to you, Felix. What do you want, you fat cow? When I said you could be near me, I meant on the battlefield. You're pushing it a little too far. You better not start calling me a meal. <laughs> oh, that's right. You should consider him a brother. You know, I'm not just using you as a stand-in for my brother. I don't mean to upset you, but I've come to realize that you two don't have that much in common after all. I don't understand. Why are you hanging around me if not to replace your brother? It's not that I want to be near Emil, but I want to be near you. What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> How embarrassing. It must sound like I'm coming on to you. Maybe just a little. Regardless, you've made it clear that you don't want me around. You made it clear you have eyes only for Sylvain and his amazing lancing abilities, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. It's not that. Good. Then I'll continue to spend time at your side. What a perplexing creature. <gasps> What's that? Did you say something? Never mind that. Why don't we go out for a nice cup of tea? I can't think of a reason to refuse your invitation, so I suppose I have to accept. Fucking Felix, what the fuck? Nobody can resist his Sundari charm. Nobody, seriously. He's got so much fucking bachelor potential, it's ridiculous. Jesus. Everybody wants to fuck Felix. Well, too bad. All right, you're going to have to wait in line. <laughs> All right, well, that's, uh, that's the end of Felix's ones. Uh, Mercedes, she, uh, she still got one with Dimitri and to do, and also Eloise. Um, all right, Dimitri, who are you, uh, who do you need to bond with? We got, you get a part two with Eloise, potentially. We also got Flane, Gilbert, Ingrid. One more with Annette. Mercedes, so. All right, to do and Annette. This so should uh, level them up as well. I like this. Uh, what the fuck? It didn't. Seriously? Seriously? They were at fuck. Oh, they were at B plus too. Oh, actually. Oh, I think it was slightly misleading. That's a, that sort of thing. It gets kind of weird when they have two parters here because, like, yeah, it was a B plus, but it, that it was also that also I think just meant the second part of the B, which meant that in reality they weren't really that close to an A rank. Well, regular regularly, I think. If you don't have the two-parter to your thing and you actually have a, a B plus, I think that means it's closer. I think, I don't know. Man, maybe I don't understand this correctly. Maybe it's just the same, but it just, that one to get to the A rank is just times, even with even with the orange arrow, it isn't enough to get you there. Um, Yeah, all right. Oh, wait, I should, realize, I should go check my plants. Hopefully I get some good shit. Like some tomatoes. <gasps> yes, four fucking tomatoes. Eat shit, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. And some white variant. Neat. Okay, cool. I can rub that in Gilbert's face. Be like, ha, stupid. Got it. You didn't think I could, did you? Did you? Boa fruit. I don't even know what that is. Have I gotten that before? Maybe. It's a lot of different seasons this game. All right, here you go, Thank Gilbert. You very much. Give me my sweet renown. Damn it. Dimitri and Gilbert don't have a don't have one together. And I just tried to do it when uh, Gilbert didn't love the food. And wasn't enough to push him over the edge. I think it's the only one he's really good enough with. If that, and I think maybe Ingrid, but again, doesn't have one with her either. Yeah. Well, we'll work with her. <laughs> yes. Fuck yeah. All right, cool. That, uh, completes Ingrid's. All right, A rank. Let's see it, baby. <laughs> Finally, you score a point against me on the ground. You have improved, Ingrid. That was nothing more than a fluke. My technique was horribly sloppy that last round. It does not matter what sort of technique it was. You won. If this had been a real battle, I would be dead. You wielded your lance well, without any hesitation. Has your approach changed? And you made sure to use my classic death quote. Say it again. <sighs> Do I have to say it again? See you in the eternal flames, a girl. <laughs> you may recall when I said I'm now able to move on because of you. I remember. What did you mean by it? That I finally understand a truth about Glenn. It sounds as though he died with a heavy heart. A heart that carried regret. I had suspected as much. But instead of acknowledging it, I twisted my memory of him to fit an ideal I've been upholding. I see. Your Highness, I will not sacrifice my life for anyone. 
but perhaps instead, I can live my life for someone. I will pledge my life to you. And how exactly am I meant to interpret that? <laughs> Whatever you please, your highness. <laughs> oh? Well then. Ingrid, when this is all over, I want you to... Um... To support and defend me. As my knight. I have been thinking of telling you this for a long time. We get along well, you and I. As your knight? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> God damn. Man, there's just too many fucking potential, like, relationships in this game, right? Like, too many potential ones. Of course I will. I intended to do so for your... For the sake of the kingdom. Together, your highness. Oh. You and I. Our first order of business. Putting this tragic war to an end. I think Marianne and, I, and Dimitri, though, I think that's going to be my sort of OTP there. Yes. And while we're at it, do not die on me, Ingrid. Promise me that. Yes, your highness. I swear it on my lance. And my lance. Ooh! <laughs> mm. Should I wonder then, where does that put uh, Dimitri in his, like, close relationships? Uh, Catherine and Annette. Hmm. Not if I'd be against Catherine. Funny how, I don't even know if Catherine has a oh, way. That's right. She actually has a two-parter. That's, that's, that's why. I was like, that's weird. I haven't even completed hers, but I did complete Ingrid's, but they're not, uh, they, yeah, that's it. It's because they have, they have a two-parter, which is kind of like, you kind of think about it. It is almost like cheating in a way because that means you have, you have to get the A plus in order to see it. But when you do that, it does end up knocking them up really high in their list, right? Which means uh, Dimitri would be most likely to get an ending with Catherine and Flayne and Annette, assuming I managed to uh, get all theirs. I'm guessing you could probably get A-plus with characters, too, that even if they don't have a two-parter, though. I mean, right? And that just, again, plays towards get possibly getting an ending with them. At least, I think. I would be against Catherine in that. I, although, I don't know. I actually wonder if Catherine and Shamir would get an ending with each other. Like, what, what would their ending be? Would they have a gay relationship together? Because I feel like they, they, have, they have that potential as well. There's like 8 million different gay women relationships in this game. And like, <laughs> like one guy. <laughs> one guy that is quote-unquote canon. The other ones are just, they're just really good fuck buddies. <laughs> Sylvain and Felix, they fuck like monkeys, but they ain't gay. What? Ain't nothing gay about having Broadwurst every once in a while. I mean, what the hell? All right. Catherine Ash. This will be an interesting, interesting one. I've really actually enjoyed their supports together. Just sort of seeing that, like, because, you know, Catherine was kind of responsible for the death of her brother, right? And then the last one, it was, she was like, oh, go ahead and slap me in the face. And then Ash punched her and hurt his hand. And he's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, fuck, I broke my hand. Damn, little weedy bitch. Then she slugs the shit out of him and snaps his neck and he was in a coma for a few years or something. I think that's the canon. Anyway, a rank. Wow, you've gotten much better. You're not doubting yourself anymore. It's like your state of mind is completely different. What changed? Can I tell you honestly? Please do. Maybe this is a chance to resolve our dispute and move on. I'm gonna fucking kill you, bitch! Blah! <laughs> As a knight, an ally, and even as a person, I know I can trust you. But somewhere in my heart, there's a part of me that can't forgive what you did. Of course. Your brother's blood is on my hands. It wouldn't be easy for anyone in your position to feel forgiving. If someone said it was easy, I would probably give him a smack in the face. You may never be able to forgive me, no matter how hard you try. I'm prepared to accept that. It's my duty. I admire your spirit, Catherine. Honestly, I do. I hope the part of me that's holding this grudge will get smaller with time. Maybe someday, it'll vanish. That's rather poetic. M maybe but uh, I'm being serious. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to make light of it. <laughs> no, it, it's all right. We should have talked like this much sooner. Instead of me trying to punch you in the face. I feel like I can finally stop dwelling on the past and start looking forward to the future. My brother was an asshole anyway. I think meeting you has been good for me too. Different people have different morals. They won't always agree on what's right and what's wrong. Maybe that's obvious, but it's something I think about when I'm talking to you. Can I ask something of you? I'd like to get to know you better, Catherine, as a person and as my friend. Sure. 
but I won't do all the talking. It'll be dull if you don't tell me about yourself, too. Me? <laughs> uh, it, it won't be very interesting for you, but okay. Okay. Let's chat over a nice, tasty meal, my treat. Christoph, Lenato, watch over me, please. Hurry up, or I'll eat all the food. Coming. Oh, that was nice. Just a nice coming to reaching a mutual point of understanding and moving pat moving forward, right? All right. Casper Shamir. I think this might be the last one. Yes, sirree. Let's see it, baby. You fought well in that battle. You've improved. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. True. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, come on. You're supposed to disagree and compliment me instead. Fine. In the past, you were reckless. Lately, you are less so. Like 2% less so. You are more considerate of your allies and much easier to fight alongside. I need to get more of those critical hits, but not as much as me. Go over the kill! Whoa, now that's, that's enough. Getting compliments from you is kind of weird, but I get what you mean. I feel safer on the battlefield when you're out there with me too. I always trust that you've got my back. I guess we make a good team. Nah, not really. I can't disagree. Hey, do you remember that time I saved you and almost got myself killed? You were pretty mad. That actually had a big impact on me. After that, I decided I had to be able to save you without getting hurt myself. So I started paying more attention. I read your movements in battle and stayed out of your way. Before I knew it, it was almost like I could read your mind. An interesting concept. We have become a very efficient team, but you will never understand my thoughts. <laughs> Not true. I know exactly what you're thinking. Then prove it. What am I thinking right now? You think I'm a little crybaby bitch? Damn, you're good, Casper. You know, you know what? I take it back. We make a good deal. <laughs> you do know me pretty well after all. Right now? Uh, let's see. You, uh, you're thinking that I'm a reliable ally in battle and you'd like to keep fighting by my side. And you think we're connected. Yeah, that's right. Even though we come from different places, you feel a bond. <laughs> the, uh, ben Diskin, right? He did he did Casper as well, in addition to, I think, Lorenz. He had a lot of fun with Casper, though. Yeah, he, yeah that's right. <laughs> the delivery of some of his lines is so good. Like when he was talking with uh, Ash and they were like talking with the cat or something, he was going, Who's the bugger bugger? Who's the bugger? <laughs> so fucking funny. <sighs> that was all just wishful thinking, wasn't it? I guess I'll never know what's actually going on in your head. Wishful thinking? Huh? Oh, I probably said too much. You did indeed. If you'll excuse me, I gotta go find a hole to bury my head in. Don't worry, your wishes aren't so far from the truth. Now, shall we be off? Huh? W what do you mean? Sh Shamir, wait! <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of funny because Casper kind of turned out to be real dork at the end, you know? Like, I kind of thought he'd just be kind of like that haughty, arrogant brat who's just like constantly like, oh, I gotta keep fighting and stuff. And now nah, he kind of turned out to be kind of a big, goofy dork. <laughs> Especially with all these strong ass women around. They're like, Casper, hey, like, <laughs> I don't know, almost comes across as sort of like inferior to them. And they're like, what do you want, little scrub? <laughs> like, Catherine Shamir, I've like fucking dominate Casper. Casper's like, like eh! <laughs> too fucking. Strong, thick ass girls with the big muscles and even bigger dicks. Gonna get fucked, Casper. Ah! Okay, they're burning Raphael, but uh, wasn't enough to give him that final one yet. But they'll probably be super close after that. I said it's almost done too, actually. So I got the one with Bernie and then one more with Manuela, which I might be able to get him set up on. Uh, nope, not yet. Blaine only has uh, one left, Dimitri, and then she's finish as well. Okay, I think out of the group I have, I don't actually have any more combinations that I can do, because Sylvain is totally done by this point. I can, however, uh, do the choir, though, so maybe this will be enough to push somebody else over the edge. For that, though, let's check the note box. We got, uh, Shamir. A subordinate is down because they failed a recon mission. Making it back alive should be rewarded enough. How can I convince them of this? Say that only li the living can learn from their mistakes. Say you can't train a dead soldier. You can't. Why waste your breath on a defeatist? Say you can't train a dead soldier. Ah, oh, fuck me. Manuela, in an attempt to clean my room, I try to throw out the things I no longer need, but I can't bring myself to do it. After all, I just can't throw away precious memories, right? Memories reside in the heart, not an object. See, seal your past in your current room and find a new one. 
Uh, meeting new people will create new memories. Memories reside in the heart, not the object? Oh, for fuck's sake, Manuela. Uh, to do, I think. I wrote a letter to... No, Gilbert. Uh, I wrote a letter to my wife back home, but now I can't bring myself to send it. Would you like me to deliver it for you? I'm sure hearing from you would make her happy. If you're wavering, it's better not to send it. Oh, fuck me, man. These are... What does he want to hear? I'm sure hearing you from you will make you happy. Make... Yes, there we go. Fuck. So it's hard to tell. It's like... Does, did he, does, I mean, Gilbert want to hear that? Does he want to hear me say, yeah, I'll make him happier? No, I don't want to blow away my shame longer. Because Gilbert is Gilbert, and Gilbert fucks around too much. Hey, here we go. All right, Seneth and Manuela. The final one between them. And then I'll just leave uh, Seneth and Bernie. All right, I think... I don't know. I'm curious to see how this ends, because I might potentially ship these two together, honestly. Kind of weirdly enough. Manuela, about what we discussed earlier with regard to St. Seth Lean. Well, potentially Manuela with Hanuman, too, because even they fucking get each other's throats, like, opposites attract, sort of. I feel the need to correct your misapprehensions. Oh, I won't expose your passion to the light of day. I told you I can keep a secret. That's not it at all. <laughs> How can I make you see? I suppose there is no other way. Allow me to tell you a very old story. What kind of story? Is it about your past? Because there's a story I could enjoy hearing. I once had a wife. She passed from this world a very long time ago. She was wise, kind of heart, and always smiling. A most wonderful woman. Not long after we married, we were blessed with a child, a girl. You had a wife and a daughter? Why would you have kept that secret? To protect my daughter. That has been my foremost concern ever since I had the misfortune to lose my wife. It is my daughter who resembles Saint Cetheline. That is why I make my oath to this statue. Mm. <laughs> ah, there you go. So if you hadn't actually gotten to that plot point yet, could have figured you might be able to put two and two together from this one. Hmm. Your story doesn't sound right to me. I don't mind saying it. Yeah. <laughs> why is that? When you talked about your ideal woman before, your description was almost exactly Saint Setlene. Now you're telling me your daughter is a perfect match? Huh? It is not an exact resemblance. My daughter, for instance, is neither proper nor quiet. In any case, even in matters of love, <laughs> an ideal seldom lives up to reality. That is the way of the world. She has a weird infatuation with fish, too. I, I, I keep telling her to stop it, but she won't do it. <laughs> Do it again. Say the way of the world with a serious face. You're so stern and proper, but you really can be quite funny. I love a man who can make me laugh. I'm just spilling my heart to you, lady. What the fuck? My wife used to say the same thing. I never quite understood what was so funny. <laughs> I sound like your late wife? Don't tell me. I actually resemble her, don't I? Mirror image, I bet. No, her boobs were bigger. Oh, fuck you, said it. Absolutely not. Though, no, unthinkable. <laughs> the way you say it, I suppose I must resemble her a little. Well, isn't that an honor? Say, Sedif, have you ever considered remarrying? You know, just so you're not alone? It is not a thought that has ever crossed my mind. I have been too preoccupied with fatherhood. My daughter has been a teenager for like the, <laughs> the past few centuries. It's been a long time since your wife passed, right? You should start thinking about it. There could be someone who finds you handsome. Oh God. Someone close by. Maybe even right in front of you. The thing about Manuela though, I don't know. She's just too thirsty. Like she's too thirsty for fucking everybody. Whatever you said just now, I didn't quite hear. <laughs> but to remarry. I never even considered it an option until you brought it up just now. Hmm. I wonder if Ingrid would be up for it. Ingrid! <laughs> oh, God damn it! My daughter will not want to remain by my side forever. Perhaps it is time I thought about it. I'd be happy to help you mull it over if you like. How about tonight? We could go out for a drink. Are we back to this again? <sighs> Very well. Just see that you do not drink too much. I would rather not have to carry you home. Oh, she finally convinced him though to go out and drink with her. Hey, all right, there you go. 
So where does that put them now, I wonder? Um, let's see, Seneth. Uh, wow. <laughs> Flame's like, what the hell, Dad? I don't even rank in your top three. Sorry, honey. <laughs> actually, it's interesting. Ingrid is actually ranked above Manuela. And where is Ingrid have, uh, she has Sylvain in hers? Uh, she does. Okay. So I guess that actually would make, um, Seneth good for Manuela, potentially. And Manuela. Uh, yep. Seneth, Seneth above Hanuman. Sorry, Hanuman. Eat shit, old man. And Hanuman's just gonna die alone. Uh, Hanuman's is... Marianne and Manuela. Yeah, sorry, all those girls are taken. Good die alone, old man. All right, we are really getting down to the nitty gritty, though, of the uh, support. So there really aren't too many left now. So this definitely seems, it's definitely starting to seem possible. Seems like I, I really can't actually get all these done, which is, whew, I will say, the sorry, this did not seem possible. I was like, fuck, there's so many. But now I think I begin to see a light at the end of that tunnel. Um, unfortunately, though, I've already gotten uh, pretty much everybody that I think I can today. So. Uh, I guess it means the last bit. I'm just gonna have to uh, train on some people. So what? Uh, what do I need to? What do I need to build up by this point? All right. Help me in swords. God damn it! I wonder if it's actually possible for me to get a perfect. I've only ever gotten goods and occasionally grace, but I've never gotten a perfect. All right. And you help me with swords too. Well, most seriously, most of the time it's good. Just, just good. Apparently not nearly as freaking talented as my students, despite being a project of God or whatever. Whatever the fuck that is. Damn, got the powers and I'm doing shit. Oh yeah, I should probably take this opportunity to finally uh, give the stat items I have to people. I've got a fucking million of them. Look at all those stats. Okay, I know that the uh, magic, I definitely want to give to Sylvain just to make him more of a uh, viable magic wielder. All the magic stuff going to you. I got quite a few. So I got premium magic herbs as well as the spirit dust. That'll definitely help. Oh, by the way, you guys actually told me so the reason why Dudu's HP is so high is that in Warmaster, um, combined with his current like base stat for HP, which is at 60%, uh, Warmaster has that by 40%. And with that, means it means 100% chance every time he levels up, he's going to get HP now. Holy shit, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> no wonder. You guys actually said apparently, though, if you manage to get like someone who breaks 100%, um, like if they get like like the Kermont stat plus the other class, like they break 100%, then get like 105 or 110 percent. That means that that extra five or 10 percent, they have that chance of also getting two stat bonuses uh, to uh, a single stat. So instead of being plus one, plus two to HP or something. Holy crap! That's fucking awesome. I'm actually gonna give, believe it or not, I want to give the defense stuff to to do here because he's not quite as great of a tank as he used to be. And I kind of want him to get him back up there again. Like, I, I think he's just gotten some not great level ups here. They kind of fucked his defense a bit, so. Give you some Ambrosia, along with this one, Giant Shell. And I think that's it. Just to get you closer to being that tank you always were meant to be. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. 30, and then plus the 4 when he gets his staunch shield. And uh, he'll be pretty damn good. I miss my tank, man. Go ahead and give uh, Ash. Oops. Some increases in charm. Got a lot of golden apples. And the black pearl. Give Gilbert. White Verona, increase resistance a bit. I've got three of these. And I'm gonna give to do speed carrots. Two of them. And Gilbert will get the, uh, the miracle beans. Increase his luck some. He's been rather unlucky in life. Okay, there we go. All right, let's do it. Uh, Mercedes' birthday! Sure. Mercedes, you should have, uh, oh, let's try the, uh, let's see, I was thinking maybe this would, uh, well, not like sweets, right? So it might work for you, this one. Honey fruit blend? <laughs> Hello, Professor. Did you want to see me? Thank you so much. God damn it! No, that's just so, this just totally fucking random. So Never making this out. Yes. Alright, potential training partners, strong battalion, overcoming weaknesses. Um, that? Yeah. Yes. Plants with feature ca cats. Equipment upkeep. Cats. Yeah. Everybody loves cats. They're everywhere on this fucking campus. The opera. Class, you might enjoy your research. The opera? Yes. I should probably write to my mother soon. Not. Just give me a nod. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I want to know when sip tea and like 
like shake head or like fucking pout. I don't know. Like, what are those ones ever used? Are they ever used? All right, stare at Mercedes weirdly. Faster, 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 faster. Happy man, happy man. Oh God, zooming on the boobs. I know it's a luxury. But I take my skincare very seriously. So could you please stop touching me? Sorry, the game. It's the game's fault. I don't know why it lets me do this. I don't know either. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, my boobs. Oh my God. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Getting in there deep. All right. That was fun. Uh, that was delicious. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yum. Do we eat all that fucking... All those little baked goods over there. That's a lot of that's a lot of baked goods for two people. Or is this just like part of the continental breakfast at a Marriott or something? <laughs> and whatever is finished is eaten by Ingrid. <laughs> Says, where do I get fucking wood steel? Shit does not show up very often. Do I only get it from battles? For any point, they'll actually sell in the shop. Or Argarthium. Seriously, I've gotten like two of those the entire game so far. Maybe able to repair my side of the cereal. Holy shit. Kingdom Priest. Affected allies can survive lethal damage with one HP once if HP is greater than one. Damn, is that? It doesn't say if it lasts one turn or not though. Does it? That sounds, if it's, if it's something that lasts for a while, then that sounds fucking useful. If it like lasts forever until you get, you know, killed within an inch of your life. All right, guys. Reclaiming the capital. After Arrigue's death, Dimitri reassessed his plan of attack. For the sake of the kingdom, he chooses to forestall an invasion of the Empire in favor of securing his own capital city of Ferdiad. Finally, time to reclaim the... Oh, once lost home. Time to go murder that big titty bitch. Despite their victory at the Battle of Grander, the kingdom army turns around and marches for Ferdiad instead of heading south. To hail the arrival of the Kingdom Army, the people of Ferdiad begin to rebel. No move is made to suppress them. Instead, Cornelia directs her borrowed Imperial troops to prevent Dimitri from reaching the Kingdom capital. I'm coming for you, slut. Hope you're ready. You're about to fucking die today. See you in the eternal flames. Oh, there's the crazy Dimitri I know and, I know and fear. All right, reclaiming the capital. Ferdiad, it has been a lifetime since I was here last. Wow, she didn't do a really good job of stopping us, did she? <laughs> We're already here, and nobody? Seriously, nobody? Five years ago, in fact. On the day before my execution, when Dudu helped me escape from prison. And I got the sweet eye patch. I killed soldiers from my homeland, stole weapons from their corpses, and made my escape soaked in their blood. To think this is how I would return to the city of my birth after all that has happened. You have Rodriguez to thank. I'm proud of you. I do not deserve that. If not for you or Rodrigue, I would still be lost. I am glad to have you at my side. From the bottom of my heart, I am forever grateful. Let's win this, Professor. Let's all make it out alive and celebrate our victory. Hell yeah, man. Gonna make out with Zoa. Game limitations be damned. Your Highness, the path to the castle has been cleared. We are making preparations to advance. Say the word, and we march. Give the order. Yes. Let us begin. I will kill every last one of them. Everyone, listen well. This battle is for all that the Empire stole from us. It is a fight to reclaim the days of peace we once enjoyed. I give you but two commands. Stay alive and follow your heart. That is all I ask. And also slay them all. The gates to the kingdom capital are open. Join me. It is time to take back our home. Ah! I thought I would see you again. Holy motherfuck. Must run in your family. Jesus Christ! Okay, seriously, they dialed up the boobage on this chick to like 80. <laughs> what was Manuela like? Like zero was default, and then she was like 13. I don't know what this. I say, well, I don't know what number this chick's at. <laughs> Good God, it's so they're so ridiculous. Cornelia, 
The city is overrun with insurrection. It seems to be in response to our enemy's arrival. Excuse me, General, my eyes are up here. How did you know I was looking? How could you not be looking? If we do nothing, our army may suffer damages. We should suppress the citizens immediately. The people are rebelling? <laughs> Let them do as they please. Or are you saying you have enough soldiers to divide our forces? Quite bold of you, with our enemy's most elite soldiers at our doorstep. But what are you suggesting? The city is going to be a battlefield anyway. Kill all who oppose us, even if they are members of the general populace. Go on now. You are needed out there. As you wish. May we find fortune in the battle to come. Well, you're clearly of right mind. Yes, I should go out there and murder the innocents of our beloved kingdom. La 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 la. Huh. What an inconvenience the little princeling has turned out to be. Jesus Christ. And bringing that troublesome person along with him. Fucking face. Ugh. It would have been much better if he and his sweet little stepsister had been good little children and just killed each other. Why is it the bigger the boobs, the more evil you are in these games? Jesus. It's like Xenoblade all over again. It's like, fuck me, man. The bigger the boobs, the harder they fall, I think. Something. I wonder if this will be decided in a single battle or if this will stretch out maybe another month or so. Will this chick actually fight us on the field, I wonder? And does she have some weird transformation like uh, the others did? Per mayhaps. See, why does everyone else get the giant things and not us, huh? What the fuck am I even looking at? Giant guitar. <laughs> That's not a guitar. Titanus. A weapon made with forgotten knowledge. Protects itself with a form formidable shield. Ugh. Uh, oh, yes, she is. There she is. Oh, God. Yeah, she's got the dark magic. Aslepius. Asluttius. A magic staff that restores HP every turn. Created using ancient technology. Luna. Sort of A. I mean, ma dark magic. I would not be surprised she ends up transforming into something, maybe. Like fucking everybody else here does. Um, she cannot be silenced. Defy magic. Grants plus magic. Yeah, magic plus eight when her HP is below 25. Fuck, you better kill her in the first hit then. Uh, there's level four. Agathan technology. Jason foes deal three less damage during combat. For a mage, she actually has pretty decent defense. God, her magic is absurd. 46? Fuck me. Do not want to get hit by that. Dude, it all the way over here too? Why from the back? Are we, are we pincer attacking or something? No. So why are there dudes all the way on this side? Maybe she'll retreat back here. Or some guys will show up back here or something. Oh, we are actually split apart though. We have some people over there, people over here, people over there. How many people do we have in total? Ooh, 12 people. All right. There are a lot of people in this fight. Let's make sure that we get some, uh, more support with people. Like, uh, Demetri, you got to support us with, uh, quite a few. So, Annette, Flane, Gilbert, Catherine. All right, let's do it. Be the enemy commander. Don't die. <laughs> the preparations are all in place. Time to meet my old master. Ready the Titanists in the streets. Let's give them a welcome to remember. We're already here. Old master. <laughs> Sammy the weird creepy. Advance. Smash that traitor Cornelia and reclaim the capital. I will not lose. I swear it by the blood in my veins. Oh, there we go. There's the crazy Dimitri. God, I'm glad it's not like he was like, it's like, oh yeah, he's never gonna act that way again. No, he's still, he's still got the, he still got that thirst in him. What's my strategy? That blood thirst. I'm just going straight in there. Fuck this. Actually, no, I'll set, I'm sitting Dimitri straight in there. He's already literally a god. Oh, I think we have some new music here too. I'm on a horse. Get him, Shamir. Damn, I thought for sure you'd get a critical hit. You had an 81 chance. What the fuck? I'm gonna redo that shit. Oh crap, here we go again. The there we go. Just need a little boost. Boom. Sending their numbers. Thin them down, boy. Give us a boost. Leave it to me. Then we're just gonna run the fuck in there, not give a shit. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna do this. On my honor, on my honor. It is done. at that stupid wizard. Now let these guys come over and see if they can fucking kill him. They're gonna try their, they're gonna try. They're gonna try their damnedest. Boom. Big win. Big win, oh yeah. Pretty good, 
Dead? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Oh, what? I killed him in a single hit with that move. Oh, he misses. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck this wizard. It won't be in vain. All right. Isn't the tightness enough for you? Well then, we had better activate the visco. The fuck? What is that? Uh oh. Ow! What the fuck? You hit me, and I didn't counterattack. Uh oh. Pathetic. Pathetic. Let's see you die. Let's see you die, man. me if you must. Gilbert Tank! Gilbert Miss! Not so fast! Not so fast! Oh dear. I'm not going down! Not going down. Who's next? Don't Get kill Casper, please. Ow. Motherfucker, you dare touch me? Go over the kill! Over the kill. <laughs> Stay down. Level up Shamir. Son of Not a way. bitch. I met people saying the bow knight might give you like some great stat boost. I've had some shitty ones for fucking both Ash and Shamir in this fucking class. I don't think nerfed it or what. No big deal. These things are surprisingly tough. Are they being reinforced by magic? If there is magic in use, we should find the source and eliminate it. I'm okay. Oh god. On my honor. On my honor, you're I fucked. Swear it wasn't in vain. God damn it. That's what I was afraid of. Don't, Don't blame yourself, even though it's all your fault. Yeah. I'm on a roll, Damn it. Luck wasn't with you. Luck was not on your dumb side. Mysterious object that attacks automatically. Range. Can I kill it? I don't know. What am I going? Oh, there's switches over here. I to control traps, weapons, and contraptions. Okay. Actually, are there any chests on this map? I don't think there are. So I think that's probably what I need to do to, uh,. I mean, can I hurt these guys? I guess I'll hurt them. Do some decent damage. On my honor, as a on, my honor on a horse. A little up for Mercedes. For Booyah, bitch. Hammer time. Oh, yeah. I must stay the course. Booyah. I'll crush them all. <laughs> Ain't nothing, boy. I'll never back down. Level 39. God damn, Catherine. Uh. Ow, oh, stop shooting Dimitri. Oh, fuck. He destroyed, they destroyed his damn King of Lions core. Fuck. I gotta redo that shit to get his OP shit back again. Boom, dead. Good to fight for a cause. Fuck you, wizard. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Casper, stop dying! Actually, I bet the lever just disables these. I'm not sure if uh, it's going to stop these guys or not. This little stupid-ass wizard. Take a pot shot at me. Give him Casper. Boom. You're all going down. Fuck this guy up, Gilbert. Oh god, here we go, blah! You were unprepared. You were unprepared. Ah, oh, good. I was about to smoke Marianne. Amazing. You know, the thing is, I, I think they expect me for like whatever it is that they want me to do, they're like, oh, these guys have magic armor or something, so I need to I'm guessing kill one of these wizards, but the problem is like, how do I know which one it is? There's like no way to know really. Oh, you guess it could be this one? Or this one? The one over there. I mean, there's a switch, which I think is actually just t to turn uh, these things off. I don't, I don't know if it's going to turn off the armor on these guys. God, seriously, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to approach with <laughs> all these guys here. I think I just need to wait, honestly. I think I'm going to need to 
I I'm guessing the way this is set up is probably that I need to kill like the wizard over here, maybe the wizard on the other side and hit flip that switch for um, they expect me to come down here. So I think I might just need to hang out over here before I attempt anything. Oh my God, Mercedes can fucking tank that shit. It's all magic damage. Ha! Can't do shit, boy. Yeah, Casper's infantry is fucking dead because it happens. <laughs> they just happen like every fight he's in. Casper always gets the he always gets the shit kicked out of him. So his infantry is his battalion is always like the first one to die. It's not, I mean, granted, his battalion only has like yeah, he only has a a thirty one. What's his? Oh, that's right, his authority's D. All right, get him, Gilbert. The time is now. The time, is now. The time is coming, so am I. Oh, sorry, I forgot I have, for Bernie, I have that uh, move that gives everybody strength plus four in a battalion. Hmm. Hope you're ready. Boom. Attack at your own risk. Okay. Want some help? Gambit. Let's give this a try. Boom. Get out of here. Uh, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. <laughs> God damn it, Raphael. Punch the fuck out of this thing. Boom. All right. Break that armor. <gasps> oh my God. Holy shit. I need to break the armor on all these guys. <laughs> if these guys are going to drop four Argarthium, well then shit, I need to do it to every one of these. Oh, that's cool. I like how I actually, it actually like, you actually see it shatter his shield. Yes. Get a critical. Kill him, please. Yeah. Oh, just enough. Good job, Bernie. Oh, S rank. Oh my God, even more crit. Sweet. What power? Damn, that was sick. All right. I think I'm gonna have to equip it though. I don't think, uh, yeah. She's already full on shit. Okay, now let's get these three to get over here and fucking survive. You're quite far away though. Can she hit the yes? Kill that damn wizard! Go for the kill, bitch! Yeah! Feels good to fight. Yeah, trick yeah! Almost the switch. I'm gonna get through that guy. God, so many heavy armor dudes here. All right, I think yeah, I think we're just gonna have ourselves wait here, and everybody else just needs to get all the way to their end. Although I do wonder, actually, if if I end up just deactivating whatever's going on, will they drop their shield and then I won't get Ar Agarthium? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. There's so many unknowns here. Fortunately, the game doesn't really explain. A That's kind of one thing I have against this game. It's nice they'll be like, like we need to find, we need to get the wizard that does the thing, and we're just like, which one? There's like five wizards here. It's like, no, oh, that one particular one. It doesn't look any different, but it's that one. Is it still hitting us? Ah, I hit Aloise. Owie. Oh, oh, that was so... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking sick. Did you see that? What? What's happening? What? What was that? Are these guys moving? What just what just happened? Do you see, they, what? Everybody turned to this direction? Are they nervous? That was weird. Is that a glitch? That seemed like a glitch because it they like it's like they all turned. I don't think they actually moved. I think they just turned to the right. But the camera didn't cut towards them. All I was hearing was their sounds. That was weird. I have no idea. I don't know what was going on there. But anyway, I, what I was trying to figure out was, did you see Samir leap off her horse, shoot in the air, and fucking shoot that armor? That was so sick. And then she kills him with a critical. Uh, after she dodged it, oh my god. It's like, nah, Samir ain't gonna just just dodge an attack and, you know, just shoot him in the face one. No, I gotta, I gotta leap off my horse and do it. What the fuck was that? I have no idea. Are they I, Maybe they are. Maybe they're like, oh, we're getting nervous. But they didn't move. They just turned to the right. That's some weird MI shaman on shit right there. I tell you what. All right, do it again. Going for the count! Think you're, you think your armor's gonna stop me, motherfucker? Boom! Stay down. God, Shamir's such a fucking god. Here she ended up getting a level up. She got a level up where she didn't get any stats. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. That ain't gonna stop Shamir, baby. Get to this dumb switch. Axe time! Gah. Ow. 
Level up for Gilbert. Piece of shit. Get him, Raphael. Bonk. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. Not really. Yeah. Hey, you miss. Hey, I'm going to do it again. Sit down, fatty. You're making me look bad. <laughs> You're making me look bad. Level up for Marianne. I want to learn Good shit. Go fuck this guy up. Uh, that's not gonna work. He's too far away. Fuck. It's like this, just this huge area of hit around here, all because of these things. Blah. They cometh. Yes, get off your dumb healing spot. I don't know, maybe it's always the dark wizards. Maybe that's the ones that are always the issue. Or the ones that always result in uh, deactivating of stuff. I don't know, I guess we'll find out when we fucking wreck this guy. Okay, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Yeah. Aim for the brain, short of the pain! Good, huh? Another elixir, neat. Anything? No! Boom. You're all going Get him, down. Casper. Woo da Whoa, Dow. A beautiful sting sword with a high critical rate said to be, have been forged in Eastern land. Ooh, neat. Let's clean up. Lever. That should stop the supply of magic. Now we should be able to land attacks on those things. These strange devices and weapons. They are the empires? Unbelievable. Okay, I guess that made him easier to kill now or something? We must See you in the eternal flames. Boom. I don't have a battalion on to do. Fuck. Oh, he stopped the damage for one of them. Oh, thank fuck. Brave sword. I am all down to divine pulses, so I really hope I don't die here. Where's this guy going? Oh. Bitch, don't you touch me! Nice shot there, Mercedes. You guys, very sl slow, slow turn. Don't you touch my fuck! Don't struggle. Okay, cool. So he can't do it against these guys. That is convenient. Predictable. No, your place, peasant. Oh, God. You coming here, too? Oh, no. He's turning around. Where are you going? I think maybe before, maybe they were moving. I just, it just, the camera didn't lock onto them for whatever reason. Oh, God. Ah, oh, they're all charging up. God, I wish I'd fucking remember to put a battalion to do. God damn it. I cannot believe I did that. I'm so stupid. I'm trying to get Gilbert over here to help out. Yeah. Ah. Here is something to, here believe. Is something to believe in. Yeah. Ah, you're dead. Shatter his shield. Level up. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That is definitely worth getting. Uh, uh, I, will I will crush you. Uh, there we go. It's the power of Ragnarok. Shit, this asshole over here. Time level up. Eat. Uh, hope this doesn't fuck to do up too much. Nah, he's all right. I have to do kill this guy. Boom. Okay, we got Catherine and Shamir and Alois on this side, but these two armor guys, I don't know if I want to fuck with them right now. Boom. Burn them alive. Let's surprise them. Get them, butlers. Boom. Hey, you know what? Fuck this. Going in. Killing these guys. God, these guys are slow to turn. Going for the kill! Going for the kill. How dare you touch me! Our plan is ready. 
Pull up battalion. All right. God, there's so many of these fucking big Chungawongas. Seriously. Look at all these. There's so many. Going for the kill, Going for the kill again. Ah! <laughs> oh, you just stands there. Oh. I finally <gasps> mastered it. Sweet. Master Bonite, Defiant Speed. Ooh, what does that do? Now you'll learn. Love love for Aloise. Nice, Aloise. Okay, one more bar. Catherine, can you finish him? Uh, let's him with the fucking Thunderbrand. Where do I start? Ah! So yeah, we're gonna get hit by this now, though. On my honor. Ah! Aaron Bar. Love left for Flane. Nice. You will regret this. You will regret this. Well met. Well met. Die. That's the nice thing is you can't withdraw from these like massive dudes pretty easily at least. Why am I dropping so much? Yeah. This archer from a distance. Yeah. Boom. Bernie's unstoppable. Bernie's unstoppable. And, oh, Bernie's the worst. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, sort of thing, the Bonite stat boosts are not actually very good. Because seriously, I, I feel like every Bonite user I've had is just getting these terrible level ups. Do it again, Bernie. I'll kill these guys. Fuck this guy up. Stay down. Yeah. Going, for the Going for the kill again. Yeah. Level up for Shamir. Not what I was hoping. For. God, seriously, just, it just, it's terrible. It's fucking awful. Haven't withered away just yet. Damn, nice, Seth. Bonk. All in his service. All in his service. Uh. I'm okay. This dickhead here is going to need to wait his turn. Don't worry, Captain. I've got no regrets. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> You've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. Got hit by a fucking critical. You've got to be shitting me. And he's dead. And I'm all out of divine pulses. Which means this fight's over. Fucking great. Cool. <sighs> all right. I finally got back here. God damn. I was out of pain in the ass though. Fuck. It was such a fucking terrible place to... To freaking uh, lose, because like, goddamn, this battle takes freaking forever. There's so many massive metal mecha tank golem things that have so much health, and this battle takes like an hour and a half easily. But I did. I got back here. I killed everybody except for this one dude over here. But fuck him. I don't care. He could just sit there forever. He could carry the tale of me murdering all of his golem friends. But anyway, I want fucking uh, Dimitri to be the one to kill this bitch. So we're gonna wait one more turn. All right, Dimitri, fuck her up. Fuck up this bitch. You're gonna die today, slut. I'm gonna hit you with the air bar. My, it's been a long time, hasn't it, your highness? You've grown awfully strong. Oh, shameless. I bet it was you who killed my uncle and set me up. Am I right? <laughs> Too true. I'd already forgotten about all that loveliness. I'll kill you, you monster. You will pay for all that you have done. Get ready to eat shit, bitch. I won't be deterred. I won't be deterred. Oh, so this is as far as I could get. Level me up. No, damn it. No. <laughs> oh, Dimitri won, but at what cost? Shit! The cost of his godly counterattack, and unfortunately I can't go back because that was it. <laughs> well, so be it. 
Still, I'll give you a little gift. It's over, Cornelia. If you have any last words, now is the time. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> Very well. I have an old tale that I would like you to hear, if I may. About something that happened ten years ago. Something Patricia said about how she wished to see her real daughter again, no matter who or what she had to sacrifice to do so. Uh -oh. And about how I made her wish come true, at the cost of the King's head. The King's head? You mean Dusker? You monster! You mean to say that my father, everyone, was killed by my stepmother? <laughs> That's right. Her family meant everything to her. You certainly know that feeling, do you not? <laughs> I guess <laughs> her family meant everything. Not her step family, though. <laughs> oh, poor little prince. Unloved by the only mother he ever knew. <laughs> How pitiful. How dare you! <laughs> There's nothing left for you now. Nothing but despair. <laughs> Die, slut! Blah! Fucking should have cut her head off there, Dimitri. I'm the MVP, of course that was. Still sucks 16 tries to get through this bullshit, though. Fuck. Oh, God, it's finally over. do not take 84 years. God, seriously. Fight went on for so long. Try as that woman might to spout nonsense to her very last, nothing could change the fact that she was an enemy of the kingdom. She sold out Fargus to the Empire, forcing our people to suffer their tyranny. But all that ends today. No more blood will be needlessly spilled. Now that Cornelia has fallen, we will exert pressure on the nobles who were aligned with her. Perhaps we may yet find a connection to the tragic incident in Dusker. Once we do that, we will finally be able to prove the innocence of its people. Your Highness. I am certain that would make those of Dusker who lost their lives that day very happy. I am grateful, and I am proud to serve a man such as you. Come, your highness. You still have some responsibilities that must be carried out. I must go murder all the winches who dare befriend that big-titted bitch. That could come later, but first we need to eat. Yes. Can't serve our vengeance on an empty stomach, can I? I will see you all in the eternal flame of the ball pit. Yeah. Your people have been patiently awaiting your return. Do you mean... No. I can't bear to face them after all that I... We're going. We must face them. Professor. Right you are, as ever. I am their king, after all. For the king! What... What is this? Dude, Dimitri, you look so fucking hot, dude! Yeah! Let me yeah. lick your, your, your eye patch, man. man! As you can see... The people are rejoicing at the return of their king. Even though I turned my back on them and fled the kingdom in disgrace. <laughs> I was planning to let them all die a gruesome, painful death just like two chapters ago. Yeah, that's alright, we don't care, we don't care about, about that. that. We just, we, we just, get over we things real fast, fast here. here. Even so, the spectacle before you does not lie. We are a kingdom in need of a king. A hero to save the people from their long oppression. Your Highness. It is truly a blessing that you have returned. Do I really have the right to stand here? Will they accept me as their king? Bloodstained as I am, am I fit to be king? If you tone, all will be forgiven. Don't cry, Dimitri. This is a happy time. If you tone, all will be forgiven. Yes. You are right again, my friend. I am finally home again. Fargus. How oh, I missed you. Aww. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's good. Maybe now I can finally find some vegetables on the damn campus. It may be spring, but the nights are quite chilly here in Ferdiad. Still, our celebratory feast shows no sign of stopping. Have you grown weary of the festivities? I have. I was going to ask you the same. It's not that I have grown weary. More that I find it difficult to be around everyone at the moment. I have just returned from visiting the graves of my loved ones. It had been a long while since I left flowers. I was always terribly afraid of going near there. But I could not stay away forever. 
You have taught me something important, Professor. S <laughs> Studiousness? Saucemanship? Humor? <laughs> <laughs> you never let up, do you? <laughs> no. What I'm referring to is far more valuable. Oh, I missed it. I missed your goofy sense of humor, Dimitri. Oh my god. Remember that one time? That's, I think that moment when I said that joke to him and he actually started just laughing or something. Laughing his ass off. That, like, I said some shit that I thought would just make him be like, like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he actually laughed at it. That's when I was like, oh, I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. How should I put this? Perhaps it is most accurate to say that you taught me how to live. If you and I had not reunited on that fateful day, I am certain I would have died a fruitless death on the battlefield. I would have foolishly challenged a horde of foes. And in doing so, needlessly sacrificed the lives of my friends and myself. But now I have returned to my rightful place. I struggle with what to say when I know well that words are not enough to express my gratitude. Only our bodies can do that. You saved me from the darkness and guided me back to the light. Thank you, Professor. With all that I am, I thank you. Sure, man. Are you happy? Do you still wish for revenge? Revenge was never something I wished for. It was an obligation I felt I had inherited from those who died. I believed my life belonged to those who lost their own in Dusker. But what I now seek is something else entirely. I can say that with confidence. But I digress. For tonight, our only focus should be to bask in our victory. After that, we must prepare for our battle with the Empire. The Empire! To start, we must absorb the Kingdom Knights taken by the Dukedom into our own forces and reshuffle our troops. The Lords will need to help purge our territory of Imperial forces, and I will use my authority as King to gather forces from various regions. You think there's any chance they left, like, some of those golems behind? Any chance we could possibly actually use them ourselves? Any at all! <laughs> actually makes me wonder, then, if you actually did the Black Eagles route, and you take control of Edelgard since the crazy evil pants, whatever, the guys that seem to be behind all these big uh, giant monstrosities and the monsters and stuff, would you actually have been able to take control of them at any point during that story? Because I feel like you should be able to, right? They're like the ones behind everything and like, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll help out Edelgard and doing stuff. And I want to be able to control one of those big Chungawungas, have them go around and like on a fucking rampage. I mean, that's pretty fun. <laughs> Rom, you can eat you. You come here, mister. You come here. Blah, blah. Go motherfucking Godzilla on all these assholes. And we'll have to ask the merchants to lend us the funds we require. Oh, and we must request delivery of supplies at once. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. Good luck with that. <laughs> sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Just thinking about it all makes my head spin. There is much to do. But it is all critical work if we hope to stand a chance against the Empire. So no way to coexist with the Empire. We'll soon face Edelgard. Yes, I am well aware. Again. I believe we have spoken of this before. Everyone has something they simply cannot accept. As for Edelgard, I am certain she will never be able to accept the Church of Seros. I believe that is why she seeks to destroy it. She is looking to revolutionize the world in her mind, for the better. But even if she manages to birth a new world, it would be at the cost of... I wish to end this war through acceptance, not annihilation. Just as my people accepted me, I wish dearly to accept her. But I fear... Your Highness, I finally found you. Ah, I'm sorry for slipping away. Has something happened? What is it, Cheeto soldier? An express messenger just arrived from the leader of the Alliance. Please, return to the castle at once. <laughs> hey, it's your boy Claude. Uh, just want you to know, I'm still not over the ass kicking you gave us earlier. Gonna fuck you up. Bye. An express messenger? What in the world could Claude be after? I am on my way. Professor, please join me. Yes. We've got a new month of things to do. Part two. Golden Dur Moon. Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's Plea.
The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Leicester Alliance. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid, and he rushes to prepare the kingdom's forces. Also, there's some stuff happening in the background here, but nobody gives a shit about that story anymore. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I know I should be telling you about this stuff here, but nah, whatever. Symbolism, crap, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's go see Claude. All right, what we got going on? We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's all right, man. I mean, seriously, we always seem to want to time this at the end of a month. You notice that? Has anyone else noticed that? We never seem to want to do it like in the middle of the month or at the start of the month. No, we gotta wait till the end of the month. I feel like nobody else is noticing this. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. They're throwing the dankest of memes at the enemy, but sadly, the, the Empire is not finding it the least bit hilarious. Those goddamn savages! Their defeat at Grandeur severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arendel. Lord Arendel. Oh, well, yes, of course. That's actually his his uncle, right? Guy with a little bit of a the guy with the goatee. Are you concerned? I always suspected that Lord Arendel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. Hmm. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. If Lord Arendel conspired with Cornelia, then what Kronya and the others said five years ago. Wait, Kranya? Oh, you mean redhead chick? Yeah, chick lasted like two minutes. <laughs> she was like, we're like, oh, shit, I thought we were building up to her. And then she's just, just like, nah, it's like, okay, I guess I'll die now. But. Mm. Mm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? If we turn our back on the Alliance and then dare Drew Falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions. In the Alliance to the Northeast, and in the Empire to the South. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Enbar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Hey, she's fine. She's a fucking dragon. She'll do whatever she wants. Oh, maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? What would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. You were all thinking it, Tanner! I'll tell you what! Shut up, Dad! Yeah. What do you think, Professor? Uh, as much for Dare I do. I suppose whatever Dim whatever Dimitri decides. We must go to Dare I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. That'd <laughs> be funny if I said, I agree with whatever Dimitri says. Fuck, come on, we go murder Elgar right now. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we're going to Daredevil. <laughs> we will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Also, I want everyone to know, I really need a haircut. So this hair is getting in my face and it's driving me nuts. Who birthday is it? <gasps> Sylvain's birthday. All right, let's 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 do it, man. <laughs> Someone comes in, he's like, you're not Felix. I know, I know. But I'm the next best thing, right? Here, have some uh, Biddy and Barry. Hey, hey. Uh, sorry for the wait, Professor. Thank you so much. Holy shit. What a wonderful aroma. Do you ever take that armor off? Nope. Sleep in it, too. All right. Hopes for a future. A place you like to, live, uh, ex to visit. No, not the existence of Crest. 
A place I'd like to visit. Yeah. Uh, cute monks. A view from the bridge. Someone you look up to. God damn. Really? Okay. You seem well. Cats. Does anyone not like cats? <gasps> so wait, you don't like cats? Sadness. Wow, wow. I didn't think anyone didn't like cats, honestly, in this place. I guess Sylvain doesn't. Thank Damn you for it. The treat, Professor. I'd like to do this again sometime. Sylvain, I'm sorry. That knocks you down to zero zero notches in my book again. <laughs> Damn you, Sylvain. What the fuck? I, I actually genuinely thought for a second that cat was, was just going to be an automatic win for everybody. How dare you? <laughs> Mr. Kitty, get him. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, yeah, you just get him. You're just like... Ah, ah, ah. Ah! You have anger, Mr. Kitty. For that, you must pay. All right, what we got? Lots of large fish. Uh, oh, God, that fucking head chef challenge. Yeah, you can suck my balls. That thing's not worth it. Uh, blessings of the land. Plants here will thrive. I'm actually not even sure. Does that mean if I plant that day or if I harvest that day that you get the most of this? I don't know. So, like, would I have to plant beforehand and then harvest the next week to get to, to make use of this? Or just... Uh, plant that day and the next time I, I, I don't know um and then sweet tooth week eat and the next battle let me guess 37 yeah it seems like it goes up two levels every time saving Dero Dryu Babu oh we got a paralogue finally it's been like 83 years uh Arin Arinrod the fortress city lies on what was once the border between the kingdom and the empire and a valuable strategic asset just made your intent to reclaim it neat oh god I'm waiting for a freaking new one of those uh, we got any supports? Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Oh, Annette's and Hanuman's is finally unlocked. Good. Their final one. Why did it unlock now? <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe because they returned to Ferdiad. Maybe that's it. There's something here that he wants to talk about or something. Ooh, and Catherine Shamir, too. All right, but that is all stuff we're going to have to save for next time, guys. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin. For this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!